Hey guys, Lexa Rose here. It's a little noisy back here, but that's okay. We're still going to make it work. Uh, this is going to be a special episode of Wrestling with Beauty because I make my return at ECPW. Yay! So, um, I'm also going to be filming a vlog at the same time. So you'll get to meet a couple of the guys backstage and I'll get to pick their brains for a little bit. And they'll tell me who they are and you guys get to almost kind of a meet and greet kind of thing. Virtual meet and greet. So, um, with that being said, we're going to get started. Um, we're going to prime our face and... Uh, I'm using today for Sally. Um, you can use any other primer. I usually use my professional, but this is good enough for me today, and I feel like being bougie. So we're just gonna get started. Okay, so now that we've got the eyebrows and the eyes primed, we're gonna go right into one of my most favorite makeup palettes in the whole wide world and I'm so glad that I'm breaking this out again because it's been so long but um yeah we're going to our beauty killer palette and a um, little fun trivia I was actually going to use Jeffree Star's beauty killer song as my entrance theme before I decided to do a Native American gimmick so uh, shout out to sister Jeffree that would have been my theme song and I hope you let me use it when I you know go back to being the old me but we're going to hit up Courtney right now real quick and we're just going to put that right all over our lid. Let me tell you something. I haven't done double duty since I was doing the Dark Mistress and Lexa Rose. And let me tell you, that was not... Man, shut up. And it's not an easy, pretty picture because it is definitely exhausting because then I got to do one match and I make sure there's at least one match worth of time for me to change back into different clothes. And when I did the Dark Mistress, I was wearing a wig and heavy, heavy makeup. So I had to do Lexa Rose first, then come back add more makeup, throw on the wig, suck everything in, and then come back out as the evil queen of darkness. So, yeah. Next day, uh, next up is we're going to hit up um, Vanity. I want to build up the black before I put in the crown. So we're just going to hit up Vanity. And this is going to be a very special look because it's going to be a crown, but it's not going to be like the King of Kings look where it was like a you know nice square boxy crown. This is going to be more like a female crown. And we're going to add a little bit of gold and a little bit of pink to it. Someone tell me this is a pokey stop. It is. It is? Fuck it all. I'm racking up on fucking pokeballs. That's all I'm saying. Oh, y'all don't mind if I throw off a lure module, do y'all? I got like three lure modules that I've been like itching to let, let loose. I almost called Mewtwo last night. Uh, Valor. The good one. The good team. I'm still recording. I need my best in now. All right, I'll be right back for the next step. Okay, so next up, we're going to go into Black Rainbow, which is this really shimmery black color. And we're going to just throw that right in. And don't mind all the stuff going on in the background. I want you guys to be able to see kind of what I go through during wrestling shows. So I want you to be able to see the organicness and all the happenings that go around over here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, and I decided this as a last minute thing, I'm going to throw in Star Power, which is this paint color, and we're just going to put it right over on top, because I want to kind of make it look a little different from my King of Kings look, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the crown, and then we're going to add the gold, because unfortunately I have to wear black and gold today. Thanks, Cash. Okay, so that brush didn't work out, so I'm grabbing this one. This is the same freaking travesty I used to make my uh, garnet like, look. We still going to die. Here I come to wreck the day. I just said Guido's, did I not? I just said, don't say nothing bad about Guido's. We ain't going to be racist up in here. And look who shows up. My brother. Literally. No, 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 no. Like, Check it. Oh, yeah. He's an official Rough Rider. Come here. You got to see my brother, Vinny the Guido, here. He's an official right. Rough Rider now. Rough Y'all got to see this. baby. Rough Rider. All day, every day. <laughs> this is so Ride or die, motherfucker. That's why I love him. This is my brother from another mother. <laughs> He's been with me since the beginning of my wrestling career. As Yo, a matter of fact. Anybody looking to be a Rough Rider... The Long Island Premier Chapter is looking for new members. So hit up your boy, Vinny DeGuido, 
And if you don't have my contact, hit up Yam. She'll let me know too. All this information will be in the link below. So check the link below. You'll see his um, Facebook on there. And do you have a YouTube? Uh, you need a YouTube. Uh, but yeah, we'll, I'll put all his information does. down below. And then I'll yeah, I'll put his information down there too. Because his son's actually a referee for NYWC. Very and proud ECPW of him. Now. And now ECPW. Oh, wait, he's uh, debuting today? Yep. He's, oh, he's it's his son's today. debut. Yep. Reffing for ECPW. Right now he's paying his dues and putting the ring together, so. Uh-oh. So yeah, I got to go out there and take oh, a look yeah, at that, too. We got to show everybody, like, paying the dues and stuff. Just to let you know exactly what we're talking about. Oh, new entrance music, too, by the way. Oh, for you? Hell yeah. Nice. I'm a Rough Rider by Parlay. That's nice. P-A-R-L-E. I'm a Rough Rider by Parlay. Oh, God bless that word, parlay. Curse the man who ever thought of the word parlay. <laughs> I swear, this is the type of stuff, this is probably going to end up going on YouTube, the uncensored version, and then, like, the censored version is going on my Instagram. So, if you don't see none of this stuff, then you need to check it out on my YouTube, okay? And if you're watching all this crazy stuff, then you're obviously on my YouTube. So, subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit. This golden one, and we're gonna go right into Golden Dawn, and we're gonna throw that right on top of the gold crown, kind of make it pop more and shimmer. <laughs> So I'm going to be trying this out, okay? Thank you to the Miss Eris Rain, who actually is, like, a bigger Jeffree Star fan than I am. Like, she really puts I me to shame. I have so much, it's sad. She <laughs> puts, like, literally, she's got enough to own the stock of Jeffree Star cosmetics. It's like she hold owns, on, like, a piece of watch stock. Watch this, watch this, ready? Oh, that's right, you have to press it in to... And then... Yeah. I forgot who it was. Oh, Trixie Mattel. <laughs> Trixie Mattel could not figure it out to save her life. Oh my god, that is so cute. But it's really pretty. I though. cannot wait to try this. Oh, oh my god. You don't even, like, oh my god. But now you don't even need a lot to do it. And then, for those who actually want to try this, you can actually use it all over your body. Yep. And guess who's going to be shimmering? <laughs> Yo, next time we have to have a get ready with me video, which is the two of us just talking about wrestling and shit. Imagine that. Oh my god. That's going to be amazing. Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns return. Right? <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> I was dressed as Dean Ambrose and she looked like Roman Reigns. And she I literally up with wore a white meme. beater. She comes I... up with a meme. And it said, what was it? It was, um, oh my god, we got tits or something like that. Like, oh yeah, it was like, hey Roman, we got That's tits. It. <laughs> it was so and fucking forgot, hilarious. And then I caught that. the cheap feel at her ass. Sorry. Yeah, but not you sorry. my ass, though. Sorry, not sorry. I like booty. It's still there. Yeah, I'm, booty ass? Huh? No, she... I'm just, like, professing my freaking... Uh, I'm admitting She's how I grabbed her ass, ass at a last match. Um, yeah, because I'm an ass man, so... The amount of times this woman grabbed my ass, okay? We're doing and our match is alone. <laughs> oh, the inappropriateness. I have to say one word, and you're going to lose it. Legos. <laughs> Fucking Lego gingerbread house, god damn it. <laughs> Fuck, and I made it too. I made the damn thing, okay? That was my favorite thing I ever autographed. The Lego gingerbread Remember house? people used to come up to us and ask us to autograph those? They were like giving us like little pieces of Legos. Because, I'm like... So if anybody knows Legos, they have like those, what is it called? The mat thing that you put it on. Oh, the Legos mat or whatever? Yeah. So that broke within the The impact. match? Within the impact because I swung it at her. <laughs> and we got the biggest pop over that shit. Yeah, we did. So then, I'm hiding in the crowd, and some people figured out who I was. <laughs> so they're coming up to us with pieces of Legos and the pieces of the broken mat. <laughs> like, can you sign this? I'm like, dude, Christ. And we, really? were, and we were standing not even that far from each other. We were just looking at each yeah, other. Yeah, we're like, dude. <laughs> And we were trying to remember how many Legos we signed each. Oh, my God. Because the whole thing, like, completely exploded. That was so many Legos. I know. I really used too much. I destroyed Hogwarts for that thing. It didn't even look like a gingerbread house. It looked like a regular country house. I tried really hard. It's not easy to make a gingerbread house out of Legos. Oh, my God. Remember the trash can? Wait. You put a trash can over my Oh, pie. yeah. How to make a turkey. <laughs> You put the turkey in the oven, <laughs> spin it at 350 degrees, and then I kick it. Bam! Kicks it. <laughs> Turkey's Worst done. Headache ever. Because when she kicked, all I heard was ding. Yeah, my what bad. Else we used? Um, 
Um, that was when you dressed like Doctor Who. Yup. And uh, what was it? That's when you put me through the fence, the fence. at the end, and then no, I that completely. No, the only time I ever put you through the fence. Yeah, and then I completely oversold it like a fucking oh asshole. Oh my god! I got yelled at because I thought I legit everybody hurt thought her. she killed me. Everybody thought she killed I me. I thought I legit hurt her, and I'm hysterical crying in the. Oh back. my dude, I'm fine. See? Oh, I got so pissed. Like, trust me, I'm fine. Is, I'm so oh, functioning. Oh, we broke your Japanese umbrella. Yeah, no, that was for the you contract did, signing. Uh, what, how did no, no, you it was for it, the match. You used it during your entrance. That's right. You but then I sold a whole bunch of extra ones, though. Yeah, you did. That was one. Danny of your... sold them for me. Yes. Yep. So, that became a big product because of that. And then yeah, I kind of wish I had it, more. Um, barbed wire. Do we have barbed wire? We have barbed wire in the corner. We were going to have, um, what was it? Light tubes. Light tubes, but yeah. yeah. I, fucking mind. I, I didn't want to use them. <laughs> I took a light tube to the yeah, head. Yeah, I yeah, trained for this. Scratch in the middle of your head. Yeah, I'm saying I'm taking... <laughs> I remember I wasn't there that day. This is the type of stuff that, that, that you know. No, yeah. but I didn't want to do the like. Matter of fact, day. if I could find the link to that match, I'll put it down below in the description I bar so you guys deleted. could. Did it? No. The I think there was. I got, the no, the thing. oversell from af the aftermath of the oh, match is still up there. Because I know everybody was just like, uh, can you say oversell much? Like, ah! y'all don't say nothing about Dolph Ziggler and Shawn Michaels, so shut problem. up. problem. The ref also oversold it and did the incorrect thing. Yeah. No. no, it was Jim it's Sullivan. No, Jim not Jim. Steel. Jim Flint. Yeah, Jim Flint. Yeah, dirt. It's free today. <laughs> no, it was so bad because I just I can't look at everybody. Exes. Everybody like completely freaked out at that like that match. Even like remember people wanted to come. Cash's after me? mom jumped over the barricade she to come after me that just day. to see if I was okay. Like, no, but then she wanted to come after me because she thought you were legitimately hurt. <laughs> And I was like trying to tell everybody, dude, I'm fine. My neck is fine. I was selling it. They're like, you know, you put, but you know gave everybody a heart attack. If you watch that video, your head went right through the hole. That's why. Yep. There was a hole in this fence. <laughs> I don't know why. And the way we did it, we're like, okay. I ready? magically ready? went through One, the hole. One, two, three, we go. Her head went right through the hole. So all you see is her head go back. Yep. And that was why everybody thought it was because that so when, when, when a man when it's hard for a man to find a hole, that's when there's a problem. That's sad that we my found brother, a hole ladies, better than that. That's my brother, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, how many, oh my god, remember the drinking problem. one? I don't know. The drinking promo? Yeah, that was the contract signing. I was with freaking drink. what was it Franking's yeah you had water in yours and I had actual liquor in mine I didn't drink hard shit I was toasted after that thank god I all remember. I had to do was that freaking no, contract you, signing you and Frankie had it was whiskey it was either whiskey or something like that and then he got <laughs> no it was like cotton it was like cotton candy no vodka that was or something. what mine was my, oh yeah, that's right. I bought one and I put cream flavored vodka, but yeah. you cleaned it out and filled it with water because I didn't drink it. Yeah, time. I put the vodka also, in I another bottle. Also, I was under twenty one at the time, so that would not look good. I was yeah. in Six Flags once this year. I've been. I've been, I've been I'm I used, going that next was weekend. Just like, like last year, I went like, almost every other weekend. Like, <laughs> this year, I didn't go once. I'm going next weekend. <laughs> uh, are you? That's yeah. awesome. But no. And one more then, time. Um, mine was whipped cream vodka. But we filled it with water. But the funny thing of it was, it still smelled like the whipped cream. <laughs> and her and Frankie stars are just going Drinking shot for shot. shot. So I'm taking shots of water, and people think that I'm a champ drinking vodka. And while they're drinking whiskey. Yeah. We were and the ones like, actually drinking, and she wasn't. They're like, she's tougher. She's taking straight shots of vodka. <laughs> like, uh-huh, yeah. I'm sure. like, yeah, about that. <laughs> Oh, I can take a straight shot of vodka like it's nothing, but then I was under 21. Yeah. But so you had to, like, make do with water. Yeah, remember I Okay, so let's get back into finishing the makeup. I'm going to start lining the crown with this black Clinique. What is it? Pretty easy liquid eyelining pen, and we're just going to kind of outline this crown. your breath like when you do like your eyeliner because I like when it comes to my eyebrows and my eyeliner I have to hold my breath I'm weird like that no I don't do that anymore <laughs> I have to because it's like if I don't get it right I'll be mad at myself like I no I got room oh there we go
So Miss Eris has been uh, teaching me about color correction because I haven't been able to like finagle with it. So right now she's color correcting and she helped me color correct some like red bumps on my face. Um, but right now I'm gonna just grab my Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Liquid Liner. And which one is this one? Glam Rock. I thought they said Glock or... Glam Rock, yeah. Yeah, it's Glam Rock. Yeah, and then... Somehow I saw the word cock in there. Ha! <laughs> you would. I and would. And then for color correction, this is from Elf. And what's good is, like, I have such pale skin, and it, this light green is specifically for pale skin, and they'll actually say on the bottom of this one, it says, correct the red, so it'll show you. And then, like, on my dark circles one, because I get the dark circles under my eyes, and it'll say for light skin. And I prefer the creams over the crayon, because I think it comes out a lot better than the crayon. I think it's easier to apply, too, with cream, Oh, though. yeah. Yeah, uh, also, I feel like crayons, you're going to like pretty much like scrape your skin. Well, the other problem is with the crayon, because I tried it when I was at the store. Yeah. And it was darker. It was a lot darker. Right. And I was like, that's not right. Yeah, that's oh, not. And then what's weird, I have a little scar here, yeah. like right here. Yeah. And then I put it right into my scar, so it's not dark. See, color it, correction. It, I really it, have to start getting up on this game. Because we're Jeffree Star fans. Hi. Hi. How, How are, are you? <laughs> we love you, Jeffrey. But no, <laughs> we love you. These are so good. Like, it's I very need to get convenient. one because I got this little broken one from, like... I forgot mine at home. Mine has the mirror light on it, but the problem is the batteries die so quick. Oh. So, I use this as my backup. Yeah. Because cell phone light makes it look bad, while this just gives you the light. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. the lighting in here is actually pretty good. Yeah, like, it's not too bad. It shows you the same. Oh, that's not bad. Right? Yeah, I gotta get me one of these. I definitely do. Oh. I wanna get the velour sweaters. Oh. Yeah, I want that too. This is I look like I just put like freaking like gook on my face. Look at this. But no, another good thing. Yeah. This is beauty tip 101. Always clean your brushes. Yes. I always, always, always clean Be careful your brushes. though when you clean your brushes because you, you don't want them to fall apart like mine. I got these from B and H, but because they're so freaking amazingly good. I really don't care that they're chipping right now, but still. I just got from my... Uh, whoa. <laughs> I just got a um, the electric makeup brush cleaner. Oh, the one that spins the brushes? Yeah. I need to get one so of those. How much are they? Amazon has them for 20 bucks, which is great. And then the way it works is it's only AAA batteries. You fill it with warm... To medium hot water, not scorching hot. Like tepid water. Yeah. And then you can use either like dish soap or I use um, brush shampoo from e.l.f. I got shampoo. <laughs> exactly. So you would put that in or you would put it on the actual brush. And then you put the rubber on that's the size of the brush. You put it on the device, dip it in, hit the button, and it spins. And that's how much makeup you see off your shit. Oh, I need to get like, me one of these. Like, you'll see your brush. Wait, where is it? Like, you see how this is white? Yeah. You'll see that again. Oh, shit. And I won't even have to ruin this part of my brushes. Because when I when I wash my brushes, I wash my brushes. I even clean yeah. the handles because, you know, makeup gets on it and oh, everything yeah. like that. So I clean I the whole thing. On mine. But, I use the whole but thing. No, but see, that's why. What's good is because then when you're lifting it up to dry it, it air dries it as it spins yeah because i've seen the videos yeah, on i think it was cool Twitter. Is, and what's healthy is it gets rid of the bacteria in it yeah i definitely got to invest in one of those it's so good gotta get me one so get that people it's actually really really good it's worth the 20 bucks yeah like, definitely gonna get it any freaking beauty guru will look and be they, like, they'll, they'll show you shit. like if you see all right so now we're um gonna take our razor sharp urban decay in bump uh, bump, whatever, and we're just gonna add some more highlights. <laughs> and a little kid fan, okay. This was, um, oh my god, where was this? This was a couple shows ago. I was a manager and we were heel. Kid came out to me, no more than 10 years old. You're a fucking bitch. I was like, what? <laughs> oh my god. BWF was the worst when it came to their freaking fans. Let me tell you, they were the most ruthless oh, okay. children ever in the world. This one kid, literally, I had a match with Desiree Clash, and one of these little kids, these little macriados, decided to reach out and yank my hair. Oh, my God. I was like, you are lucky I'm a child of Harambe. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
I was and if you look at, that. you know what? I'm gonna put that match up on YouTube uh, on under the description. Oh bar. my god, that's there's on a video? match. There's, it's on video. You see the kid literally yoke my hair. You don't see which kid does it, but you see my hair go. Ugh. But see, that's the thing that drives me nuts with the fans is that they think like we appreciate y'all, but sometimes y'all y'all get a little too entitled and y'all just cross that that's line like, um, and y'all y'all can't be doing that. That's like cosplayers. That's a big thing too. Yeah. Like, they be grabbing at cosplayers just because a girl is dressed like, you know, kind of skankadang. That's what the costume is, Doesn't okay? you just grab their ass and grab their boobs and shit. Yeah, unless they give you permission, too. It's like, yeah, you can grab my stuff. But it's like, I highly doubt they're really giving you that permission. Uh, this is the benefit. The permission. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens in the locker rooms. And like asleep. Yeah. No, I actually got some pretty good sleep. I didn't. <laughs> I were I got like twelve hours sleep, and mind so, you, I was drinking Natty Ice last night. Ew. Boo bar juice. It's real cheap, but get you wrecked. And I woke up with it's no like hangover. Piss. <laughs> How happy were you? Mikey. I woke up and I'm like, I woke up at like seven fifty five in the morning too. I was kind of pissed. Cause I was just we like, listen, body, you didn't have no, to go to work no, today. Play, you have no car. Oh my god! Uh, the one drink I've been drinking lately, whenever we go to the bar or anything, yeah, Malibu no. rum, orange juice, Ew. and blue curacao. That is so good. It's called mm -hmm. Shark Bite. Mm -hmm. I never, I didn't know it had a name. I used to drink that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, because um, we went to the bowling alley over here, and they had that as a snack for Shark Week. Did they really? It was really good. Oh my goodness, little one. Ah! Um. She was asking about this before. This is the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation in number five. Love potion number. Hi, Connie. Love potion number nine. <laughs> the homegirl Connie just popped in. I'm like love in love you, with. Beautiful. I love you too. I'm obsessed with her braids. Like you don't understand. Like she is killing it with I, them braids, and I'm not I like even her mad. Blue one. What was it? Was it blue or purple? She had. I don't oh. remember, but it was really cute. Uh oh, it's dripping. It's dripping. It's Get dripping. Get the sponge. Oh. Dab it, woman! You dab, not wipe! <laughs> oh yeah, now watch the green. Watch the green. Hold on, let me try it on here, cause... Watch the green. Just dab it. Um, yes! I'm gonna start calling correcting from the here on out now, cause, uh, this is life. Like, this on, is life. Mind, this... On. What was I doing with my life before I learned to color correct? Oh my god. Not color correcting? Ulta, like, y'all about to see some more orders from my ass. Okay, so I'm using e.l.f. Because I have very, very sensitive skin, and it's the like only one that doesn't make my skin break out. This is color. I'm not saying all those damn numbers. <laughs> no, there's literally five numbers here. 83121, which is porcelain, which means pale as fuck. <laughs> That's like darker than Jeffree Star. Yeah, a little darker than Jeffree. Not that much. Yeah. But now you see I have it on my cheeks. Oh, I gotta fix my eyebrow. I kind of goofed. No, I don't you can fix it. Yeah, that's a good thing. I could always just go back in and fix it. I'm really it. using... This is favorite. like Bob Ross. Like, you know, you just do happy mistakes. <laughs> it puts the you lotion on its skin. Or else it gets the hose again. again. <laughs> should we just that sounds like we just said hose. <laughs> well, we did say hose, but, no, you know, but like... Yeah, skankadanks. Skankadanks. That's my new term. Like, I saw it on... Wait, hose, aka women's wrestling, apparently. Yeah, really. Because, oh. you know... We women don't put that much in. Yo, let me tell you, I was really, really mad because somebody tried to come for Taya Valkyrie trying to say that she was husky and shit like that. I was like, yo, I'm ready to fight somebody She's for her. Hot. She's gorgeous. I followed her career back when she was in AAA and shit. I so her. I adore her. I love me some Taya. But the fact is, uh, apparently Austin Aries made a comment and I saw the tweet. I remember that. He just made a comment about calling her husky and then saying that um, Johnny Impact's clothes are gay. So you already you already did a double doo doo boo boo, and then a double doo doo boo boo. Yeah, and it was just like that tweet was all sorts of awful. And then first of all, you could have at least said something about his gear being questionable. You didn't have to mention the word gay, and then you didn't even have to bring up his wife. That didn't even need to be brought up. But then you brought it up. It's like, dude, yeah. what are you doing? No, I met Taya. Like yeah. I have nothing against Austin Aries, but that was kind of like a big yeah. no no. That was, that was uncalled for. That's but, like, but um, no, I met Ta Taya. At a house show, and all we were talking about the entire time was tattoos, because she saw my zombie piece. Oh, she did. Yeah, and then um, I saw her. It was a hummingbird or something like that. And when all we were talking about was tattoos, the whole meet and greet. That was all we were talking about. Nice. 
like, those are the conversations I usually have with the wrestlers is, like, oh, we'll talk about random things. Yeah, those are, like, the best conversations, though. Like, you talk to some uh, talk to a wrestler about something that's not wrestling-related, and oh, I can guarantee you... the best conversation I ever had was with Matt Riddle. All we talked about was weed. I took a Yo, this, this is a miracle. Like, I'm going to start color correcting from here on out because, honestly, this was... This is fabulous. I love it. I don't know what I've been doing with my life before color correcting. Not color correcting. Yeah, really. All right, of course, Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. I, mean, I, I never need too much of this stuff either. Oh, is that your concealer? Yeah. I put the concealer on before the foundation, actually. I don't know. Somehow I have to do it after because I always get foundation that, like, oxidizes, like, orangey. Yeah. Well, what's good with the e.l.f. one that I have, it, like, blends perfectly because their porcelain is really, really close. Yeah. Are you... It's okay. I haven't done double duty I mean, since I my Dark Mistress did days. I double duty last week when we were at VPW. Yeah. How are you? How are you? I, did a, um, I did a run out. Oh, you did? Yeah, because it was, again, it was, um, oh, my God, you'll love this name. Ready? Which, shout out to you, Mosh Slamovich. Oh, Masha? I wrestled her. Masha I love her. Slamovich? Yo, Masha! What's good, girls? So her? You know she named her daughter after her, right? I didn't even know she had a kid. Yeah, she has a daughter. Oh, yeah, she told me that. Yeah, her daughter's name is Masha. But she's now the new VPW Women's Champion. I know, I saw I'm so proud of her. So, the reason why, the thing was she had, white girl got distracted by Bam Bam. Then I came out and got into a fight with Bam Bam to stop it, and I apparently failed. <laughs> But it was fun. Wrestling life. I love working with Bam Bam. She's a sweetheart. Hi, Karen! <laughs> but, but no, she's the best. They're really fun to work with. And I've also recently worked with um, Ariella Nix. I also wrestled her out she's for Apex. She's so nice. She is. She's a sweetheart. I owe her, I owe her Jamie, and fucking, um, who else? Uh... Rena Sky. I owe them all matches because. I was going to say, watch it beat me. <laughs> but wait, we had how many matches in a row? Yeah, we had like tons. How many um, did we have? Like four? I think so, yeah. No, that was four in SWA alone. Then the two at the school. Yeah. That was four. You were my first match. You I was. You popped my wrestling cherry. <laughs> I like to pop cherries. <laughs> oh my god it it go go way. Way. <laughs> That's why I said, come on now come on now I'm like double entendres double entendres like all right another Jeffrey tip he always does yeah. this put foundation on the lips you know I forgot to do that that's all I do now I usually put it on anyways but somehow this foundation is like really use, nice um, all right, now we're going to set all this with our Airspun <laughs> setting powder. I have Elf High Definition Powder that I use for setting. And plus it helps pale up this shit. <laughs> Makes it look more natural. I just use this to set the highlighting points on my face. Like my nose and like under my eyes and stuff. And then what I do is I go into my contour and I just do the contouring to set the rest of the foundation. Yeah. I, I, I do it so that this sets first. Yeah. And plus so it helps lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to go into my oldie but goodie Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow. And it's just so... Oh, that's so cute. Oh, uh, it smells... Smell it. Oh my god. What is that? Pe peaches! It's highlighter, blush, and contour. This was really good. Yo. And we're just going to go so right you, into so that. So you use powder contour? Uh, I used to use the um, Hula Quickie yeah, Stick, yeah. which was like oh, a miracle, but I ran out of it. So I've just been like going back to my powders. I usually use my Kat Von D, but I felt like using this one today. I used to use powder, but I had such a problem with it because I couldn't really blend it that well. So I just ended up using cream. Yeah. Which is the best thing ever. Well, this is like more of a like a cream like powder Don't combo. Don't make fun of us. So. We're going to have my ties. Listen, we're not the type of bitches that have my ties, okay? Maybe Starbucks, but. Ooh, Frappuccino. Oh, pumpkin spice lattes. Frappuccino. I'm using the e.l.f. Cream contour palette. I heard that one's really good too. I I've love seen this it thing. like all over and like then Instagram. I have their contour brush, 
Which their brushes, they literally explain to you everything, like which one's which. And yeah. Like, I'm obsessed with this one just because of how easy it goes on, especially with this brush. So. This is what we do when we're women in the wrestling business. We the don't have like we, really we don't have makeup. we don't have a glam squad or anything like that. We don't have a team of people that come to do our makeup for us. Where the we're fuck self does glitter come from? Wait, you wrestling? Well, no. not today, but we we are wrestlers though. I'm a wrestler. Nice. <laughs> I used to I used to train with your with your stepdad. I'm going in with my sweet peach blush. I just felt like being peachy today. That's why. Peaches and cream. <laughs> I'm. A, hey, you need it because you know that I'm a bee. Getting freaky, my bunny limousine. Stop! <laughs> it's even better when it's with ice cream. Mm -hmm. Know what I mean? Peaches and cream. <laughs> Damn, I'm a 90s baby. You could tell. You could tell. I'm a 90s baby. I forgot you're a 90s baby. Hell yeah. I was born in the 80s. But the 90s. Oh, I was born in the 90s. I was, I was born in the 2000s. Oh, you, you, you one of the millennium babies. Not a millennial, but Those you're definitely born in the millennials. <laughs> Listen, I have, I'm, I'm technically a millennium from what I hear. There it better go. be rock music. Look at, look at my shirt. Yes. Yes. I remember seeing them at the Roseland Ballroom back when I was younger. We're talking about Green Day. Nice. I miss, uh, when I went to see Green Day in concert, it was like the most breathtaking experience of my entire life. They were so popular that they made a musical about it. Yeah, called American, American Idiot. Idiot. That's on, um, there's a channel on Amazon Prime. And it's all Broadway stuff, like it's musicals, plays, and stuff like that. And the documentary of American Idiots on there. Get the fuck out of here. What? All right, I'm debating on whether I want to use my Kat Von D Alchemist palette. I've been wanting to get that one. I hate you. <laughs> let me see that. Yo, let me tell you, when I say the payoff is <gasps> the payoff. Oh, that's so good. I what? might have to use some of it, though. Hey! We got our photos. Oh, you got the 8x10s? Hey, yep. yeah, we gotta get our 8x10s. That's another thing. Like, if you want to donate so we can get 8x10s, link is down below. PayPal. Well, Plasma did it for 40 bucks. Oh, that's right. No, but I'm yeah. saying, like, if people want to donate money to us, we can go to Plasma to get them. Plasma printing. Yes, um, go to Plasma printing if you want to get your freaking 8x10s. Because let me tell you something. $40 for 100 quick. Yeah, he does. It's a great turnaround time, and he's a really great guy. So we you know what? Support many? your fucking independent wrestlers. So, Excuse my language. So we got 100 for $40. For $40. $40. Dang, that's and if he can, he delivers. So do you, boo-boo. I'll put the link down below for um, his information. Um, he goes by the name Orlock now. Which was the old school name for the old school Dracula from the um, old school Dracula movies. So I'm going to hit up this uh, opal pink and we're just going to highlight the brow bone a little bit. Oh, you do what I do. Yeah. Just highlight a little bit because I'm doing the cheeks and the nose. is for those who will scalp their faces. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see that video? Wait, which video was that? Because oh, I think I've seen it. It was a really funny girl that she was making fun of contouring. <laughs> contouring oh, is for women who want to get men with wallets. Oh, yeah. I think I heard that one. I didn't see it, though. But, like, somebody was telling me about it. They were like, yo, this chick really I just, like... I heard it on the app TikTok. Huh? Now, what was That's musically. Stupid. Yeah. I love that app. That's stupid. <laughs> I used to love Dub Smash. Dub Smash was like my, my shit back in the day. This place, Dub Smash was like shit. Does it really? I'm gonna have to download it. We're doing it. this later. Cause I have like I had like a whole bunch of Dub Smashes that me and my son did, and I showed him recently. And he was like, Jesus Christ, Mom, what have I been doing myself? I was like, Listen, you were trying to be a little fucking superstar, okay? You're my kid. What do you expect? <laughs> He's my man bear pig. Man bear pig. Yeah. That's he saw all my old itchy videos too. He was like, Mom, I don't even remember oh this shit. Oh my God, itchy. Cousin Itchy! Cousin Itchy! Oh Yo, for real. She's a bad bitch. You wanted to do a promo on me as Itchy and you never did it. I never got a chance to I when I'm mad so at myself. I was so upset about that. That yeah. would have been so fucking hilarious. Hold on. I'm contouring my face. I know, but look at these. Bye, photos. Yo, grab them so I can show everybody. Just so you know, her information is also going to be down below in the description bar. So if you want to, like, follow her on social media and stuff like that, I'm going to put all the stuff there. This uh, is me, bitches. Come here. That's a dope fucking picture. I think I've seen that picture not too long ago. That was uh, the photo shoot I did on my birthday. That's where I've seen it. Remember how I told you? Okay. People from Jersey will know what I'm talking about. There's a guy who went...
going by the name Ghoul Master. Remember I told you about that? The guy that danced like Michael Jackson and looked like Marilyn Manson. Didn't he work for a Fright Fest? Yes, he did. Yeah. That's okay. who did my shoot and my makeup and my hair. Oh, shit. He does all that? Yeah, he does. Senor. Okay. So that was three hours of hair and makeup. And that was the best fun I ever had in my life. If you want to follow him, I'll put his stuff down below it's, too. Um, just look up Pete Carter. Uh, his website is the links will be down below. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll put the links down but below. His See, this is the one thing. Are amazing. <laughs> I like to support all my local friends because there's way too many famous people that don't even deserve to be famous, <coughs> Laurelie. Um, and I think that there's way better talent out there that deserves it. And, and you. before you come at me trying to talk shit about Laura Lee, let me tell you something. I could body slam that bitch ten ways to Sunday, so I'm really oh, not scared Laura. of that hoe. So I'm definitely not scared of that racist bitch. So this, this is, one was by Brittany Kelly. Brittany Kelly. Her stuff will be down below as well. And then I designed the t-shirt. Hold on. I know I'm going like in a frame. I designed the t-shirt and the mask on the face. Yeah. So we're gonna have all her stuff there down below because so I like to be able to support people think local we people. We just buy this shit. We make it's it. It's a very expensive. It's very expensive to be a wrestler in the indies, but if you're good at what you do, it's really not that hard. So, um, I'm gonna try this for the first time. This is Jeffrey Star Liquid Frost in Hi. Frostbite, and I'm about. Oh my god, this is like freaking. No, I got one. Oh no, wait, because this one's latex. I'll just use my finger. No, no, because then what you can do is... You gotta squeeze it? Yeah. To you, get the... You gotta squeeze the button on top to get it. And then lift it. Oh. Can I just put a little bit on my finger? <laughs> little spoot! <laughs> little spoot! Go like... And then yeah, because I heard this, this This definitely goes, it goes. A, long, a long way. No. So let me just throw it on the most important parts. Oh, don't forget the keeper. Cupid's bow. I know, that's why I was like, oh, Cupid's bow on the tip of the nose. Tip of the nose, a little bit on the bridge. And oh, shit, she wasn't kidding. Oh, shit, she wasn't kidding. Oh, shit, she wasn't kidding. Fuck, 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 fuck. Crap, 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 crap. Blend, 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 blend. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all see this? Oh, oh. She wasn't kidding. She wasn't kidding. She is pigmented. No, she's trying the liquid frost. Holy. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. No, I wasn't ready. Oh, my God. Jeffrey. Te amo, mi amor. This. Little bit goes a long way. Did you say little bit? Little bit. Getting married next year. How crazy is that? Oh, no, I got another, like, year to go. Two years, actually. Oh, yeah, because you just got engaged, too. Mm-hmm. At Apex Wrestling. Thank you, Mama Papa Biggs, for making that moment I'm so sorry, special. I need to say this is really Mikey. funny. The fact you had a tissue come out of your tail. No! Mommy put it in there. Mama Biggs put tissue in my bra, and I'm like looking at her like, what you doing, Mom? She was like, no, trust me. You'll thank me later. As soon as he got down on that knee, I was just like... When did she stop her bra? I was just like, now I know why I had that tissue. That's why there's a point where you see me in the video, like, holding no, it out, like, that. yeah. I saw that, and I was like, since when is she... She never stuffs her bra. Nah, I wasn't me stuffing it. It was just that she had it given me the tissue. Like you did. I know, it was really bad. I didn't realize oh, that until now you bring it up. I was going to say, oh, you're using Anastasia? Yeah, I'm throwing it right on oh, top, Anastasia. and it's like... Anastasia? One, another one of Jeffrey's favorites. Uh, as you can tell, I'm obsessed with Jeffrey. I don't give a shit. Like, she's got enough makeup that she act, it, it probably equivalates to, like, a piece of stock for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Yeah. Like, she's pretty much a stockholder. I Let's have just, about $400 worth of it. Sis is a stockholder for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Sis is a stockholder. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Jeffrey, this is one of your stockholders right here. Let me tell you. <laughs> but here's the thing, because you knew me when I first started. Even before I was wrestling, yeah. I never wore makeup. Nah, neither did I though. Because when no, I first started, I didn't. I knew you when you were doing the gothic gimmick. Yeah, I was doing, I think, the Dark Mistress still. You were doing Dark Mistress, oh, yeah. Pick up, uh, Dark Mistress, you know that Black Rose is going to be at BPW in costume. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you that. She's going to do her costume. She was like my wrestling mom when I first started in this. Everybody's wrestling mom. Nah, mom's not coming. Uh, like, mom's we not used coming? to come out together with the, the undead, Zach mm -hmm. and Mason. What? <laughs> and, yeah. They were the. It was funny too because I no, had no, that no, 
no wrestling experience whatsoever. I hadn't even taken a back bump, and all of a sudden, I'm getting called by Gino and Tom Cole. Like, yeah, we got this tag team for you oh guys God, to like that's manage. A name I haven't heard in a long time. Tom and Cole, yeah. yeah, and then you know they were like, yeah, you're gonna be um, managing this team called the Undead, and I'm like, okay. So they were like a kind of a cyberpunk like gothic duo. And yeah, I will not say anything yeah. about them. Yeah, I am good. We are children of Harambe. <laughs> Although I love Squirrel, Squirrel, you have all my love. Um, but oh yeah, they were the first tag team that I I managed, and I I. They were the first wrestling friends that I made. Actually. Yeah, they were everybody's like first Before wrestling. Shit went down. Yeah, drama. But stuff. remember, I was the camera girl. Yeah. Remember, I was a fucking twig back then. Shit. I was a twig too, man. We were twigs. Yo. Oh, so. Relationships, I think like. This was like six years, six or seven years ago. I've known you for that long. Who is this? Yeah, man. My whole entire wrestling career. Let's juggle on Myers. Um, so, I was a twig. Like, I want to say I was about 130, 120, I want to say. And then I'm now, like, I, a few months ago, I was 190, and I just recently found out I lost 11 pounds. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I got I, I'm like, I, gotta finish I was like 164, uh, maybe like yeah, a year ago when I first started at LA Fitness, and now I'm, thankfully I'm down to like 144. That's where I want to be. But I'm trying to like lose more weight because I want to be back to at least, at least a buck 30. Yeah, if I could be at least a buck 30, I'd be happy. Yeah, I don't want to be too skinny. Yeah, because I just started this um, this alkaline water thing, and it's a whole detox. I have 89 subscribers. You have 89 subscribers on YouTube? Um, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to yours. What is it? Alexa Rose. Um, it's called Fountain Water? How many subscribers? I have 355. I I've been keeping track. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you want to try a Jeffrey lipstick? Uh, oh my goodness! You know, does Jeffrey have gold lipstick? Yes, I, was... I have it! And guess what it's called? And you're gonna love it. Pussy whipped. Oh, I'm wearing that tonight. Oh, I'm wearing that tonight. Jeffree Star is... Now, if y'all don't know by now, Jeffree Star is my hero, my muse, my fairly odd parent. Like, I would love to be adopted by Jeffree Star because I'm a crazy bitch with a freaking no-filter mouth. And I know that Jeffree is a crazy bitch with a no-filter mouth. And I feel like we just get along so well. And then you well. gotta do a lip scrub with it. Like, I'm like the... So, Freaking no nonsense. Yeah. Say it like it is. Like, bitch. So this is like a burgundy, like and not burgundy. It's like a, yeah, like not gold gold, but a copperish, right? Yeah. Oh, even better. And then so I don't want it to be like too gold, cause that'll be too much. Well, I, oh, yeah, that's not gonna be like gold gold. Yeah, no, cause or if it's gold I gold, it'll, it won't register this, well. It's like new glitter one. Nah, that one's better. Um, what I have? Blue raspberry. Hold on. Chocolate pepper strawberry. I've never tried them before and I'm like super excited right Hold now. On, ready? Rainbow sherbet. Strawberry. Orange. So first of all, let, let's just look cake. at this is what I mean by her being a stockholder of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Hold on, wait, 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 bring that back because you had this block in it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can play build blocks. <laughs> Homegirl's a stockholder for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Let's just, like, put it out there right now. Um, like, uh, Okay, um, so I have... I can never be on that level. I have grape soda. No! That was fail. I just committed a big makeup... Break no, no. Um, no, but it's okay. Orange it's okay. gummy bear. Strawberry. You good? Yeah, it's just whenever I put on eyeliner, my contacts oh, yeah. get like really, really blurry. I'm, uh, that's so that's good. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to put too cool. much because you know there's never too much. So all you do, you put it on your lip. <laughs> <laughs> so then you rub it like like go like this, go like that a little bit. Now here's the best part, like it. Yeah, it's edible. That's the best stuff Jeffrey's about this. Jeffrey's shit is edible. Which is why I said so many flavors. Mm. Oh my god. This is better than the tart one that I got. Right. So and that, that one's like mint. It's so gross. This one's my... Oh no. That's not the one. My favorite right now I'm sorry. is Rainbow Sherbet. Rainbow Sherbet and um, Blue Raspberry are my favorites right now. I still... And then now when you wet... When you, you can wipe the excess or lick it. 
I, that's what I did. I licked. I ate it. Hold, hold on. You want some right there? There you go. Now feel your lips. Like actually touch them. This works ten times better than the tart one that I used. Ten times better. Because I used the tart one yesterday. Yesterday from Tart. And that shit cost me like $25. These are 12 And look how big these are. Yeah, I'm going to have... The, the one I got from Tart is like about the size of a um, tiger ball. And this is why Jeffrey is amazing. So then... I'm telling you right now. You shake that. And then you put it on. Oh my Hello. god! Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Wow. Hi! What's going on? Long time no see. This is what I'm telling you. Like, this has been like a very momentous occasion for me it's because... It's a family reunion! Yeah, I started with this company like oh. eight years ago. Uh, eight or nine oh years ago. God. I was like, what did That's I why I was saying, like, I started out with the yeah. undead and stuff like that. And then like, yeah. Then I started... It started with me managing Chris Envy, and then I went from managing Chris Envy to managing Cash, and then, yeah. So it's like started from the bottom, now the whole team's fucking here. Right. Now, don't ma don't don't mind my hair. It's doobie wrapped. So, yeah, that, that, that lip scrub is like the bee's knees right now. Um, this one is uh, Pussy Whipped. Oh, my God. I've, the only one I have is Sagittarius, so this is, like, going to be really crazy. Um, I'm, like, super excited. Did you shake it? Yeah, I shook it. Okay. I gave it a little shake, shake. I got a Sagittarius, and I can eat and do all sorts of crazy shit with Jeffree Star, and it still stays at the end of the day. Like, I come yeah. home from work, and I'm, like, scrubbing my lips because it's like, fuck, I forgot yeah, to well, some, my lips. Some of it comes off when you do <laughs> oily stuff. My favorite yeah. thing to do with it? Putting a highlight on it now. That's my favorite thing to do. Oh, so you want to try a Jeffrey highlight? Which one? Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. See, you can tell we are obsessed with Jeffree Star. There's nothing better in the world than finding out finding somebody who is obsessed with Jeffree Star Cosmetics as much as you are. And it's such a wonderful thing. <laughs> okay. So I got black onyx, which is the black one, lavender snow, and then you have the whole palette. But I think, hold on, I think and I have a yellow one. Yeah, I was going to say something like yellowish. I have or, or, or pink. That could work too. So, All right, so this is a platinum is, ice one. This is a platinum see. ice palette. Yeah. Which, look at that. Look at all those. You got, uh, ooh, ice cold. Try that, that one. one. So put a little bit and lightly put it on your lip. Brew. Yeah, you can't hold in a lot of sweat. No, I know. I was making a joke with him, and then he turned me into something. Yes, go Put a little bit more on the edges. On this one? Yeah. Like, do it on both. Do I still have? <laughs> but it comes out more. Look at that shit. Yes, bitch. Yes. I'm loving it. I'm living. I'm loving. It's. It's. Hi. This is my nephew right here. Hi. Um. Now that we got all this done, oh, we're about to. You know, I just realized. I have this spare shirt in my bag anyway. Because I don't want my hair to start like kinking up as soon as I put my. I'm not even doing my hair yet. I say that for us. Yay for dry shampoo! Now I'm setting this bad boy with my NYX dewy finish, long lasting setting spray. I'm an elf girl. I use their spray. It's really good, and I also use that to get my sponge. Mm -hmm. It's a get ready with me slash tutorial. And then when I'm done. Yes. Actually, I might gain some. I'm a good looking fat guy. Everybody say hello to pancakes. <laughs> How you doing, ladies? <laughs> How you doing? Oh my god. Go this See is definitely like, speak up. This is definitely going in the video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pancakes, okay? He's, he's a lovable old goof. Uh, oh my god. Um Yes, Jeffrey. Yes. Jeffrey has really like oh my god. You definitely you are definitely my hero because you really came from nothing and you came to something. Four year anniversary. Coming up. Four years. From nothing like, to something. Like, look at this. When they tell you to believe in your dreams, really believe in your dreams. Like this dude went from nothing. What's up, Ring Queen? Nothing, how nothing, nothing. Oh. Taylor, how you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Beard villain here. 
You squeeze um, harder than everybody else. I always do. <laughs> what? I always do. <laughs> From the bottom to like having your own makeup like freaking House company. All over the place. Oh my god. My binkies. Oh. There's another woman I, I train with. Um, Go Monster Binky. She's right over here on the side. Um, but yeah, definitely was. But he went from in. Yes, please look those up. They actually took a trip to his first apartment. I didn't. You know what? I only saw like the second it's one, on and then a, I saw another it's on part. Part two, I think. It is part two. Okay, because yeah. I only but, saw like some um, of the first no, one. They, they Shane called the landlord, and the landlord was so happy to see him and everything. They let him in, let him chill, all that what? stuff. And it's great. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. But and then they showed. I gotta. I gotta rewatch it. They showed his um his closet. I, I swear the purse thing with Shane was the funniest thing because. So what's crazy is, and he said this in his video, he's building a vault for certain clothes and stuff like that. Really? A vault. Like he was showing the construction process so far. I gotta like I gotta watch these because I've only like saw like bits and pieces because I watch them at work. I <laughs> I have no shame. Like I'll be watching children and then I'll be watching like Jeffree Star videos and stuff I'm with no same. shame. I work like, with kids. I work with kids and adults with disabilities. I do the same. <laughs> You know what's funny? I really should be certified because um, I do take care of autistic children at my job because we I have members with autistic children. She's known me for a long time. My little brother has autism. Mm -hmm. and That's why she's got the tattoo. Bam! Look at those guns. Bam! <laughs> no, okay. Um, but no, that was my first tattoo. And then I have a blue heart behind my ear. Oh, your hair got that long. Look at that! My hair literally freaking like... Grew. I remember when it was short. Yeah. It was like up to my like shoulders, I think it was. Oh, hold up. Because you haven't seen me in a long time. Hold up. My turn. Uh, if I could get it, I go extra tight. Ah. See, this is the fun part. Like, look at this. I mean, it's in like a little mini knot right now. It's almost like as long as mine. Like, and when, it's only when I straighten it. See, my hair is like about that length when it's curly. This is curly. Then, like, this is yeah. natural right now. I didn't straighten it yet. Yeah, when I straighten mine, it like pinks up, but it's like not that much of a difference. It's like maybe like a one inch difference. And I'm not even dyeing my hair or cutting it for the year. I haven't cut it since. Thank you, man. I think I cut it once when I was a trigger, and that was maybe like two years ago, but it was still long. Yeah, I'm not cutting it at all this year <laughs> until before the wedding. Cool. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not paying that extra money for extensions. Yeah, me neither. But then also, when I dye my hair black again, it's going to be more vibrant because it'll be back to my natural hair color. Yeah. Like, I literally, it's hard, it might be hard to see on camera. Yeah. But I got like bits of like my light hair. Yeah. Remember when it was that? Yeah. Uh, you know what I kind of miss though? I kind of miss having my um, red hair. I remember that. All right. I remember that, and then um, the wig, the red wig. Oh my god! Your your mistress wig. Jesus. I think I still have it too. I want to be surprised. Yeah, one day she might make a comeback. I wanted your boots for the longest time. I gotta get those fixed too. The zipper busted. I want to get those boots. I want I'm so mad about that. Time. I should go get ready. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think it's start. Fine. It's time for me to start putting on my girdle and stuff like that. All right, so well, by the time we'll be back, I'll be asking her a couple of questions about the wrestling business and stuff like that. Since maybe, um, <laughs> maybe you're gonna, because I said so. But um, yeah, I'll be back. And I'll be finally dressed and ready to go. Yeah, you